Oh my goodness, Flamboyance Tours has turned four. Um, I am still in disbelief that I am able to still do this uh, four years in and it's something that uh, I must say from the outset that I am extremely grateful for. When I started in 2019, on January 21st with my first tour, it was a really nerve-wracking experience and uh, I have very vivid memories of that day. But uh, in the four years since, I've really uh, made Flamboyance Tours into something that I'm very proud of and something that I still um, you know, hope to improve on and, and better uh, over the years to come. Of course, I wouldn't be here without continued support from people actually taking tours and taking an interest in what my beautiful home city of Adelaide is all about. So for this, I am forever grateful and I say a big thank you to all of you who have supported me over time. Whether or not you've been on tour, it doesn't matter. The fact that you are here watching uh, makes a world of difference to me. So again, a big thank you for that. I guess I just wanted to take the time here uh, to talk a little bit about where I've come across the last four years and where I hope to see Flamboyance Tours going at least in the next 12 months because uh, I guess as a tour operator I'm now at quite a pivotal time coming out of the pandemic. Now everyone's had different situations about uh, how that's affected them over time and I, I can't stress enough that everyone's experiences are valid in that respect. When it comes to tourism and tour operations in this time, it's been very volatile. It's been very up and down with what um, we've been able to manage. We've had to truly adapt or die, as a, a lot of people were um, quoting. And it's really one of those things where um, I have had to um, adapt in, in different ways, not only in the ways that I do my tours, but also um, who I'm offering them to, uh, changing how they actually run, uh, but also just making sure that uh, everyone is still getting the best experience with the restrictions that we had uh, at the time. And now, as 2023 has come, we now find ourselves much more out of that space and into something uh, much more resembling the 2019 of when I first started doing tours. And, um, you know, 2019 was great. As an operator, even in my first year, it really gave me an indicator for, um, you know, what I could expect and uh, what was to come. So it's almost a shift back towards that. And while some people might think, oh, you know, that's going to, uh, I guess, feel like a step back, in some ways it does, I'll be completely honest, only because uh, with a pandemic, you really do find yourself having to pick back up off the ground. But 2022 was a really great year and being able to do that from the outset, uh, you know, kind of pick up from where 2019 had left us. But then 2023 is just going to be a, a continuation of that and it's something I'm really excited about. So what does 2023 hold for Flamboyance Tours? Well, I can't reveal too much yet, but there's always things turning in my head and always things in the pipeline. Um, I do have at least one new tour that I'm going to be launching as part of the History Festival in May this year, uh, which of course runs across Adelaide and South Australia during that month. Um, I can't reveal exactly what that is yet ahead of the program's release, but I am very excited to offer that exclusively for that event. Um, I will still be uh, back at Fringe for 2023 with my tour on the history of the festival, which um, you know was really well recognised last year with a Fringe award um, being awarded for that. So I was just um, yeah absolutely stoked that um, you know that was recognised, and so bringing that back this year has been really important for me as well. So in terms of the tour space, there's always things going on in my head about what I could do next and what I could offer. That's as much as I can say about that, but definitely watch that space. But in terms of me and um, I guess how I operate the business, I'm just really hopeful of being able to uh, offer more tours more often for you. I think that has been the one thing that has really, I guess, been hindered during times uh, where you know there were restrictions, but also a lack of visitation. But now that we're seeing so many of you amazing people coming back from all across the world, um, it just means that I'm able to operate my tours, um, you know, more often for you. And that, I guess, makes a big difference in how Flamboyance Tours, uh, I guess, moves forward. So there's lots to be excited about. I just love being able to put that out there to all of you. Um, you know, four years, 
it just flies by and I just can't believe that, um, you know, my little business is turning into something uh, that not only am I proud of, but that is really showcasing the best of what this city has to offer. Um, Adelaide is such a vibrant, amazing place and it's only getting bigger and better as the years go on. I, I feel like, you know, being an advocate is not a job for me and that's why I love doing what I do so much. I think 2023 in Adelaide is going to be an amazing year given that uh, we've now got so many amazing established events across the year. Um, but, you know, even the little things, finding great food, finding a great bar, um, all of these things, um, you know, if you don't discover for yourself, I can definitely help you out with. So uh, it is well worth um, you seeing what it's about, uh, particularly through, um, I guess, a local such as myself that lives and breathes, uh, truly lives and breathes what uh, Adelaide is. So I guess I just want to close by saying again, thank you for watching, thank you for being here, and thanks for your support uh, across this time. Um, 2023 is looking really exciting, and uh, you will see uh, updates of this uh, in the year to come, of course. So please stay tuned, and I'll see you on the next video. Thanks for watching. We have multiple tours and services which you can find more information about by visiting our website flamboyantstours.com.au and don't forget to follow us across social media too so you can stay connected with what we've got going on.